Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? It's snowed, I called in today and everything. And um uh, I'm reacting to Ramsey Dewey um video when it comes to self defense and basically on what he said in that video that martial art fantasy Man, mar martial arts self-defense is just fantasy. He's saying that it will not help you in a real-life situation. All the time. You know, he is right. You know, it won't help you all the time in real-life situations on that part. But when it comes to training in the martial arts, you know, my perspective is I use it to stay in shape. I use it, you know, to help make my back strong, help make my feet strong. Um, I use it for my surgeries that I had in the past. And I use it as therapy. And that's the reason why I like martial arts. But when it comes to martial art training, in its own way, there are some styles, you know, it will not help you out in self-defense. It, it, um, will not help you out with self-defense. Um, because there are some styles that are just showman, showmanship. There are some styles that aren't really that practical for self-defense. And I would say, now, I can't really tell about Sistema. I mean, I never really study it. Um, I heard a lot of reviews that, you know, it's really good. I heard a lot of reviews that it's really not good. I've heard, I've heard bads and the goods on the, on the style system. Well, to me, I think the style system is a fraud. Brought up in martial art because they, they say, oh, it helps you out with quick, quick reaction time. Well, so does any other martial art. You know, look at boxing. Look at karate. Look at taekwondo. Um, look at Muay Thai. Um, look at Wing Chun. You know, even though Wing, most people nowadays Wing Chun, um, they make it look like a joke than than anything else. Um, but when it comes to training in the martial arts, you know, on self defense, you know, yeah, I don't worry about being attacked every day. I don't worry about. I mean. If it does happen, it happens. If I have my guard down, I have my guard down. You know, if I get attacked, I get attacked. Everybody's not going to have their guard up at all times. I mean, martial arts has helped me out in self-defense. I, I mean, it's helped me out in school when I was got bullied on. I said it helped me out um, when I got attacked by my stepfather. I mean, did I ever lay a punch on him? No, because I knew the law. I mean, if you if you hit somebody first, both parties go to jail. So I didn't hit him. I just used my blocks and you know evading tactics and stuff, slipping and maybe like directing his attack, maybe making him fall on the ground without laying laying a hand on him. Um, he would try to attack me and throw me across the coffee table. Then he would throw me down on the couch. He would reach in to try to grab me. And the only thing that got me out of his cold was I grabbed his arm. I lifted it up. I bit him on his hand. And then he finally yanked his hand back after I bit on him. I said that was the only self-defense that really... Helped me out there was biting, and then um, when it comes to then he, when I got up to sit up on the couch, I still had my hands up ready to fight. I still had my hands up ready to fight, but he reached in through my guard, grabbed me by the throat. I wrapped my arm 
our hands on his arms. I wrap my leg around his neck. And I have him in a half arm bar. Now, could I would could I broke his could have I actually broke his arm at that point if I really wanted to? Yeah, I could. But I chose not to. Cause I didn't want to go to jail for breaking his arm. Cause he could have turned around and pressed charges on me for assault. And which I told him I said, Hey, if you don't let go, I'm gonna break your arm. And I, and I said, with stern voice, too. And I said, you want this arm? And, I, and he said, you better let go. And he wouldn't let go. He wouldn't let go. And I told him, I said, you better let go. Or I'm going to snap this one. So, he finally let go after the third time I said it. Because he knew I meant business. But back to the thing of what Ramsey do, he was saying. You know, it's martial arts self-defense. A joke. Is it fake? Not really. Not really to an extent. extent. Um, he was trying to say it's like you see in the movies like Batman or you know it's not like Batman or it's not like the Power Rangers or anything like that or the Ninja Turtles and and so on and so on. Well, me, it's, you know, if somebody's going to come up to you, attack you, they're going to come up to you, attack you, attack you no matter what. And to me, to me, your self defense kind of just uh, over the stuff over the years kind of goes out the window. So, only thing that really works is the blocking out of it, the boxing. Um, maybe if you know kickboxing, the kickboxing will work out of it. Um, like Muay Thai, the elbowing, the knees, maybe if you know how to apply them good in a street fight. Um, kicking, um, I would advise low line kicking. I wouldn't kick high because if you kick high, um, your opponent can catch. And like I said, like I said, my that father could kick high. You know, he was taller than I was, and he had that long reach with his legs. And every time he ended up kicking me, I, I would just catch the kick. And I'll just sweep his leg. And I just did leg sweeps on him. And so he uh, was very aggressive of a fighter. And a dang right bully. And if anything didn't get his way, he would try to do something to me. Well, does self-defense work? question is, is how you use the self-defense. It's how you train it. I'm going to say this. You know, Ramsey Dude did have a point, you know. Some self-defense is fake that you see on the internet. Some self-defense is fake broads out there on the internet. I mean, I've tried some of the self-defense out there on the internet. And does some of that self-defense work in a fight? Some of it does. Some of it doesn't. You know, Bruce Lee always said in his Tao Chi Kune Do book, apply what is useful, apply what is useless. So if it don't work the first time, if you don't think it works at all in your system, don't use it in a fight. My three main styles that I use is boxing, karate, or I use Krav Maga. Mostly, when if I would ever have to use street fighting out in the real world, I use my Krav Maga tactics. Now, now if I have to fight to the death, then 
I use my karate. Now, if we're just brawling, I use my boxing. So, does self-defense work in a real-life situation? It's like I said, you know, every 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 system of self-defense. You know, he's calling basically what he's saying that every self-defense in martial art is a joke. No, every system in martial arts is not a joke. I would say probably the top three arts that are studied, the three arts that are mainly studied anymore would be boxing, karate, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Those are the three main arts that are practiced today and a little bit of Muay Thai you know some people like Muay Thai uh, I don't know why but some people do I like Muay Thai um, I like it because you can add the elbows and the knees and stuff like that when you're doing Muay Thai work because um, it helps you with close quarters combat um, but it, can it be for showmen? Yes. You know, Muay Thai could be a sport. You know, Muay Thai could be for self-defense. Um, same with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You know, you could train freestyle Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, you could train tournament Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I trained in freestyle back in the day. And, and that's how I trained. I didn't train with a gi on. I, I train with no gi because I, I like the no gi jujitsu better than with the gi. And, um, but did I ever pin anybody in submission? Before? No. Only one I ever pinned is my stepfather. But he was always good at wrestling and he was all bright in a bag of chips and that day, I ended up putting him in his place by luck. Some was watching over me that day. Because that morning, it, it told me to, hey, if you're tired of living this way, fight back. And so I did. I fought back everything I had where it wouldn't affect me going to jail. So, he ended up going to a 24-hour holding cell. I didn't. I went home that night. Um, I was stressed out. I mean, I opened up a case of beer. I went to the store and bought some beer. And with the money I had from my grandma at the time. And I bought, at the time, I was smoking cigarettes. I bought a pack of cigarettes and a case of beer. And... I was just stressed, I was hurting a little bit from what he done, and and I just told my dad, I said, I'm going to stop at the store, get two items, and my dad was pissed off because he made, I made his other half go to jail, I mean, I told him, I said, he deserved it, I said, stop at the store, I need to get some things to calm him down, and he's like, okay, and so he went on ahead and bought me the beer, and bought me the cigarettes, because it was my money too. And so when it comes to violence in a family matter situation, um, when, he, when he went to work to look at my shit, beat up and everything. And then they tell you the next time, hey, you know, if you come to work with something like this, we're going to sell it ourselves. Usually, 9 out of 10 is not a really good sign to come into work looking all beat up. But, if you can't help it, you just can't help it. And, 
So I went to work looking like the way I did and that morning and I warned him about it and he's like, well, if you don't, if you don't do what, if you, if you, he was like, well, I don't care if you end up looking like that going to work, I don't care if they do this to me. And I mean, he was just going on and on with the child and I put him in his place. And do I regret it? There are some things, some days, you know, if I would stay there and try to work it out, you know, with, um, you know, him and my dad both, you know, there are days, you know, I wish, you know, okay, if I would have probably made him where he was a little bit nicer toward me, um, Would I, would I stay to try to change things a little bit, you know, make it where he would like me a little bit better, I guess? Um, I would, but my heart was to tell me, no, I wouldn't. And, but do I forgive the man for what he's done? Yes, I have. I have moved on, set a new life. And um, life is going good, other than my, oh, that's it. Other than my grandpa's passing, um, I'm still not quite over that yet, but I have moved on. Um, the pain still hurts, but it's like I said, back to the main objective of what Ramsey Dewey said is that does self defense work in a real life situation? Yes and no. Just depends on what you are studying. Now, if you're studying for sport in the sport way matter, then it's just in a sport environment. It will not save you in the street. Now, if you go in there with a self defense attitude, like, okay, I want to use this for self defense only. And you're not training for tournaments or anything like that, then nine out of ten, and if you have the confidence that you can beat the person that's attacking you, then yes, it will work for you for self defense. So I don't care what anybody says. Um, there are some styles out there that are frauds. You know, I think Sistema is a fraud of a style. Because uh, it looks like a bunch of guys just dancing around, dodging techniques, you know, making them hit the other opponent. You know, you only see that in the movies. You know, you can't do that in real life. And so they don't want to make everybody believe, oh, the system works. Well, the system doesn't work. Because I found other videos that people tried it for real life situations and and they said their point of view on it and they said it does not work and they said they had other style they had they had tried other styles of martial arts themselves and they said what i say usually boxing um what i said karate and karamaga and um Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai. Those are the main arts that are practiced today. And some some may practice Taekwondo too. Taekwondo is my art, but and it can be used for self defense. But that's the art I study, is Taekwondo. But my main style that I do like is karate, because it uses the hands more. Because it helps you get into close quarters when you need to be close quarters. Taekwondo helps you to be long range and offensive. So, and Muay Thai helps you to be in close quarters for the clinch and the takedowns, the leg sweeps, and the hip throws and stuff like that. Um, same with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. 
It helps you go in for a tackle. It helps you stay low when you're being attacked to evade and stuff like that. And so, there you have it. Um, my perspective of Ramsey Dewey's reaction video to does self-defense work? On that fantasy powerhouse video. Yes, it does. It's just on how you train in the system to make it work. So, am I living in that fantasy world that, you know, yeah, it does work? No. I'm going by what I'm telling you on what I've been through. Does that make me a badass? No. Am I boosting my ego? No. I'm telling you my story on how things went down. So, there you have it, folks. Except the four martial art talk video, reaction video to Ramsey's doings. That um, self defense is a power fantasy video that he just posted not too long ago. And, and I don't know, like I said, only one person I would fear the most, like he said in the video, would be God. But, like I said, because he's the one that made us, he's the one that can take us out. So, that's the only reason why I fear him the most. It's because he's the one that created us. So, there you have it, folks. Seven Dog 4, signing off. And I'll see you in the next video. And peace.